sorry, I'm not sharing my ice cream with you. I don't know if it's good for you. Having taken the Shinkansen from Okayama, I arrived in Hiroshima, a city I've always wanted to visit. So I made it to Hiroshima, took a bus from the station nearby to my castle hotel. And check-in time isn't for like two hours, but I was hoping there'd at least be, wow, listen to those skittas. I was hoping there'd at least be someone that would let me drop off my luggage for a couple hours. And uh, there wasn't anybody there. So if you book a capsule hotel in advance, don't show up too early, because you might be stuck with some heavy luggage. And it's 90 or more than 90 degrees out today. I'm in the shade right now, so it's not too bad. But if I step into the sun. Just sitting here, eating some ice cream, trying to cool down. I got a little friend that decided to say hi. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. You gonna make it? There you go. Just realized it's probably attracted to my ice cream because it's the same color. You wanna see? Oh, oh. He touched it and licked it. Oh! Is that good for bugs? I have no idea. I think it likes it. I'm not sure if it's good for it though. Even the bugs in Japan like their ice cream. I said goodbye to my new bug friend and finally checked into my hotel. I was only in Hiroshima for a short time, so I sought out some insight from a friend. I got my friend talk with me to talk. Hi. <laughs> about Hiroshima. I was born in Hiroshima and I raised in Hiroshima. All of my families are in Hiroshima. It's easy to wander around the park for hours and reflect. The weather was great while I was there, and there were fresh flowers on display from the anniversary. There was also signs of solidarity from other countries. The memorial park is very beautiful, and it's designed very well. I was only there for like 36 hours. I didn't get to soak in very much, but I loved what I saw. Hiroshima felt very peaceful. It's pretty common for me, for people to come up and talk to me in Japan. I don't know if it's just because I'm a foreigner or because, I don't know why, but in Hiroshima, that's, that felt like especially as much. Yeah. So do you feel like Hiroshima is like more friendly? Yeah, I think so. I live in Portland, right? And I feel like there is a similarity in like Portland people, Hiroshima people, because you know, people are like kind of laid back a little bit and they're pretty friendly, and especially to foreigners. I also recommend the Atomic Bomb Dome because it's right in the center of the city right. and you know that's where you can actually play too. I 
actually kind of get emotional when I'm there. Mm -hmm. So before I was, before I showed up to the Peace Park, I kind of thought to myself like, will I feel any emotions? But as soon as I got to the, the tower with the child on top, I was like, I got really emotional. Mm -hmm. I had to like cut off myself from recording because I was just like in tears. So the girl is kind of uh, I iconic for the, you know, the piece because there's a really famous story about this little girl who was, uh, who was exposed to radiation and then later on her life uh, she had leukemia. In Japan people believe that, you know, your wish come true is when you hold this little bird, when you hold a thousand of them. Right, the so, origami birds. Yes, origami birds, right? Being at the Hiroshima Peace Park, seeing the atomic dome, it's kind of a sobering experience, especially as a dad, being at the, uh, the children's uh, peace monument. Kind of at a loss for words. I didn't think I'd be very emotional being here. But, uh, some parts emotional, some parts hopeful, I guess. Uh, there was recently a festival, or not a festival, but a anniversary uh, here at the park, I believe just a few days ago. And uh, I'm not sure all the activities that went on. I'm sure there was seeing other children come here and making uh, origami cranes, hoping for peace, uh, ringing the bell over there. Uh, it's a pleasant experience to an extent. I recommend coming out here. Just be peaceful, soak it in. in Hiroshima get like educated a lot, right? Especially your relatives are exposed to radiation. Both of my grandpa and grandma were actually there when it happened. Oh. So, you know, they were exposed to radiation as well. You know, luckily they were a little bit far out. The education in Hiroshima is a little different than other, other prefectures. People are more mindful of having peace. If you get the chance, I highly recommend to spend some time in self-reflection. It was great to be in a town that felt so dedicated to peace. There was a sense of togetherness, friendliness. It kind of just felt like, like everybody in Hiroshima wanted the world to be better. stop for the day was Orizuru Tower. You make your way up several flights. You can either take the ramp or the stairs. There's great art to see. You can also look at Ground Zero.
once you get to the top, you have the opportunity to make your own paper origami crane. Once you get it made, you can drop it down the side window. I was told that if it spins, it's good luck. Don't forget to see the attractions up there too. gotta go see the view of the city. Now Hiroshima is not all about being somber. Hiroshima also has fun. On your way down the tower, you can slide. Even adults can do it. If you look up the tower when you're outside up the windows, you can see how many paper cranes have been dropped down. There's just seemingly millions, several stories worth of paper cranes have been dropped over the years. Don't forget to walk around and enjoy your time. Things to enjoy like shopping. And of course need to have some Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. At this particular restaurant I couldn't film inside, but I got this special, which had like squid and shrimp and all sorts of great things on it. Hiroshima has so much to offer. Obviously the bombing is a big part of its identity, the history there, and there's also a lot more to see. Hiroshima wa senkou no kochi. Hachigetsurai. Hello, thanks again for watching. Hiroshima is just an amazing town. I'd love to go back. I certainly will go back again. So please visit if you get the chance. I highly recommend it. Next week we're gonna see Miyajima, which is the island near Hiroshima, part of Hiroshima. Uh, very famous with the Itsukashima Shrine. I'd also like to give a shout out to my friend Tak for chatting with me about his hometown. See you next week.